What's going on y'all? Welcome to Jack of Woodworking. Today I am still in the middle of finishing up my workbench, but while I have some glue drying, I decided I wanted to do a real small project. My mom came up to me and uh, showed me that some of her shelves were wobbly really bad. And so I looked at it and saw that the shelf supports, there were these little metal ones that were just real flimsy and they didn't have enough strength to support uh, all the stuff that was on those shelves. So I'm going to real quick just uh, throw some stronger supports together. They're going to be pretty simple because these just go in our uh, our laundry room. It's not going to be anything fancy, but I want to show you guys how I did it. So quick project coming up. So this entire project was made completely out of a scrap piece of pine that I had. The first thing I did was go ahead and uh, plane both sides of it and then start ripping it down to the pieces I was going to use, which were just one inch by one and a half inches. I decided to try a new type of joinery I learned for this project. It's called a bridle joint. I'd never done it before and it was a little bit tricky to figure out at first, but once I had it down, they were actually rather simple, they looked really nice, and they were really strong, which is what I was mainly concerned about. The first part of the joint is essentially just a tenon, which I made by using my miter gauge and just running it over my blade until I cleared enough material away and I did that on both sides until I had what I wanted. The mating piece was a little bit more tricky. I had to make this special jig that kept my workpiece pressed up against the fence and also kept it from falling backwards while I ran it upright over the blade. I ran it through the blade and then flipped it over to get the exact same cut on the opposite side and then used a chisel to clear out the waste in the middle. Once I had all my joints cut, I went ahead and added some glue, fit them together until they fit nice, made sure to square them up. Then once they were all ready, I applied some clamps just to put a little pressure on them while they dried. Once they were dry, I took them over to my bandsaw. I went ahead and cut just a little bit of a taper on the bottom part of the bracket, just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing and not look so blocky. I then went ahead and sanded everything, but on the bottom part of the bracket, I didn't actually remove all of the bandsaw marks, because I thought they'd give a nice rustic look to the piece. Once that was done, it was time for finish. I used this Brie Wax. It's actually a rustic pine. I'd never used it before, and I absolutely loved it. It gives a real nice, antique, warm look to just simple pine and makes it look great. I drilled and countersunk some holes for screws to put in the wall. I removed each old bracket one at a time and replaced it with a new one just right where the old one went. This made it easy because I didn't have to completely remove the shelf, just replace the bracket. And then this project was done. They were plenty sturdy, they looked great, and I think they're going to hold up a lot better than those metal ones did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time.